Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Side Scroller series. In today's video we are going to be taking a quick look at how we can begin to decorate our scene with all kinds of different objects. So if you take a quick look at my game, it is very, very different from how it was looking in the last episode. So in the last episode we did the base fits, we got the pillars in, we got the floors in, we got the walls in and all of that good stuff. And what I want to take a look at today is pretty much how we can transform it into something like this, completely with lots of objects and all of that good stuff. Now once again you're going to need all of the Infinity Blade assets that we downloaded a couple of videos ago and that's going to be the grassland stuff, that's going to be the fireland stuff and all of that. We're going to be using all of these assets to populate our scene as opposed to going into like a third party modeling package and making all of this ourselves. We are free to use this so let's just go ahead and get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly leave this and I'm going to go back into where we were before. So if I remember, that was simply side scroller example map, and then we just had some walls, some floor, and all that stuff. Let's give it a couple of seconds to load, and we will get started. So give it a second, my computer is definitely, definitely quite slow. Okay, so we're inside of our level and this is what yours should look like. It's very basic at the moment and it's still missing a lot of the things that we saw a moment ago. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be putting up a massive wall behind all of this so it doesn't just look like the player is floating in the sky. So having said that, I'm just simply going to go to geometry, I'm going to grab a box and then I'm just going to put it into my scene and then from there I'm going to place it in roughly the center of my level so I'm going to quickly move this over move this over and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale it all the way to the edges of my scene and then it should span the whole edge just like that once I've done that I'm also going to go up and I'm going to scale it so it's nice and tall as well once I've done that I'm simply going to push it back a little bit so it looks like it's a bit of a backdrop for our level so I think that should look about right for now. What I also want to do on here is I'm actually going to put a material on it. So to put that material on it, first things first, I've got to find a material. So I've got to go into my content browser and the one I'm actually looking to use is inside of Infinity Blade Grasslands and then if you go to Environments and then Miscellaneous and then Deco underscore 2 Materials and then there's one for uh, M underscore Tile underscore Floor underscore Broken Text A drag that straight onto your geometry and you can see we've now got that in the background. However, the only issue with this at the moment is it is absolutely massive. So what I'm going to do is simply click the surface and I'm going to go down to my surface properties in the details panel and then I'm going to set the scale to something like 2, see how that is and that looks good to me. So I'm actually going to change this a little bit bigger, so maybe a free, um, just, just about trying to get the right look and style that you're after. So that looks good to me, it doesn't look like we're floating so much now, but it still looks quite dull, still looks quite dead. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put some lava on the ground to brighten things up a little bit to make it look quite nice. Now the place I'm going to get that from once again is going to be in the Infinity Blade Firelands folder, go to Environments, fire and then inside of here there should be some files for it now i don't know off the top of my head i think it's in forge and then um let's have a look so not in that one so it might be in floor underscore damaged nope so it's just a matter of going through some of the folders that you've got in here and you will find all of the stuff that you're after so let's go into fire and then let's go in and take a look so we've got fire robot, fire magma, let's take a look in the magma one and here we are. So we've got all of our environmental stuff for the lava in here so go to infinity blade, firelands, environments, fire, fire underscore magma and then static meshes. From here what you can do is you can choose a, piece, a few bits of lava that we've got in here already with materials and it's all flowing. Now when it comes to something like this, um, because it's on the static mesh, I can't really scale the texture on it, so let me show you. So if I was to make this really big, it just doesn't look great. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave this quite small, so we have little panels here. Then I'm going to put it up to the right height, just like this, just so it's sort of level with the player. Move it across so the player can see it as well. And if I just quickly press play to see if the player can actually see the lava, so press play, do 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 do, they can't really see it, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to knock the wall back a little bit so they can see it more, just a tiny bit, there you are, and once I've done that, let's just press play again, 
player can see the magma, that's perfect. And then I'm just going to quickly copy this lava all over our scene. So simply just pressing Control C and then Control V. Make sure you have your scaling and your snapping turned on so that it quickly just grabs into the place that you want it to and then just paste it all along here and that will give your scene a little bit of life, a little bit of lava. And what's really great about this material is it's seamless. So if I just copy and paste it just like this, it looks quite nice. I'm just going to keep on doing that a couple more times and then that should be everything for our fire sorted. Now hopefully I don't need to go all the way over to the edge of here because the player can't see what's beneath it. So I'm going to quickly run all the way over here and I'm just going to test it. And that's something that's really important. If the player cannot see it, don't include it. Um, simply put, really. Um, if you wanted to, you could go and have it up here as well, but then it just doesn't look as nice as I'd like to. So I'm just going to leave the fire, uh, that stuff as it is. So moving on, let's go ahead and grab, go into the environments folder, forge, and then forge, uh, the forge folder again, static meshes. And let's take a look at maybe getting some of these other assets into our scene. So once again, it's as simple as just simply clicking and dragging. So let's start off by grabbing this little anvil here. So we've got a broken anvil, I'm going to chuck it on the floor here, and then I've also got a normal anvil. Once again, just chuck it on the floor. Now, if you wanted to, you can even rotate this, you can scale it. Um, for me, I quite like the height and the size of it at the moment, because what it means is the player can simply just jump over it, which is something that I like. If you wanted to, you can even put some ores in here as well. So we've got some pickup ore underscore small. Uh, it's entirely up to you. There is so many assets and so many different things that we can do with all of this. It's entirely down to your imagination to do this stuff. So things can get a little bit laggy when you're working with all these static meshes, um, but just keep on cracking on with all of this stuff. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add a few bits into here. So I've got my map table, um, but I also want some light in here now. So the way I'm going to do this light is I actually need something to place it on and for me that is going to be these little armor racks that I've got here. Now when it comes to this, these armor racks I can't have this in the center of my scene. So instead I've got to move, across, move it across so the player can actually use it or walk past it even. So I'm going to just place one here and I'm also going to place one up here as well. Making sure I only move it on the one axis and making sure it's on the floor as well. And then I'm going to press play. So if I can walk through that, we're all good. That looks fine to me. And what I'm also going to do, now I've got those stands there, I need to put some candles on it. So just scroll down in your content browser, find some candles, and then simply just put it on there. Now, it's a bit too small for the candles to really fit on there. So what I'm going to have to do, I think, is simply scale this up a little bit to make it look a bit more natural and then I'm also going to be moving it all the way over to the edge just like that and now let me try and put my candles on there and it should look a little bit more natural and we're going to put some light on this as well because it will start getting really dark real soon so if I press play just make sure I can still walk past it which is definitely the case that is all good so let's quickly delete the other ones and I'm going to show you a quick method of actually placing all of these little objects into your scene now. So after I have gone and put these candles on here, I'm going to create a little group out of all of these objects. So we can simply copy and paste the whole group as opposed to each individual object. So you right click it, press group, and that's going to create a little group. So now when you select it, press Control C, Control V, we've got everything moving at once, which is quite nice. And what I'm going to do with these now is simply just place it within my level, just like this, and I'm simply just going to be using it to light my scene. When you are decorating your levels, you do have to think about things like lighting. There is a lot of stuff you've got to work with, um, but sort of over time, you will figure everything out that you need. Um, so our scene is starting to look quite nice. We still need to light it up and everything, which we're going to be doing in another video. So if I go ahead and press play, let's take a quick look at how we, how we see things. So it's looking quite nice. There is lots to it. We still need to light it. Um, but one more thing that I do want you guys to do before you do go and move on to the next video is make sure you build your lighting. Now, I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm also going to do a couple of other things. So first things first, I'm going to quickly move my character 
So I'm going to select him and I'm going to make him start all the way over at the edge of my level just here. And I'm also going to move the player start just to make sure there's no issues with that as well. And then I've also got a couple of coin pickups here as well. I'm going to be placing a couple more of these around my scene. We've got quite a few of these. So we've got some health pickups. I'm going to get rid of those. We'll be placing those later on in the level. I've also got my fire obstacle. If you wanted to, you could place that around your level. So let's say I want... I don't know. Let's say I want one of these little armor racks to be on fire. I can do that. So I'm just going to move this around place it there so it looks like it's on fire which is quite nice there we are so now the player is going to have to jump over that if they don't want to get damaged um, so we've got one coin pick up here so I'm going to place that just here in my scene I've got another coin pick up and I've got that one I've got another coin pick up here so I'm going to move this around because at the moment in terms of my pick up objects they are absolutely all over the place. Um, I'm also going to put a couple of these going up the platform as well. So as they get pushed up it, they're going to collect all these coins, which is quite nice. So control C, control V and move this up just like that. And you know, when it comes to pickups, it's also a matter of decoration. So just try and make sure they look nice, which is always quite important. So let's just press play and see how all of this looks. So we've got a really nice looking dynamic environment. We've got some lights in there. We've got my little obstacles, which is quite nice. Um, and also, you can see now at the top, we're starting to collect lots of coins. Now we've got more of these in our level, which is quite nice. We've got loads of coins spinning here. As soon as we get on the platform, you're going to see those just go plop, 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 plop. So let's get on there. It's collected two already. It's going to push us up and we got an extra five coins which is lovely so anyway guys i'm going to end off the video here once again i hope you have enjoyed it keep playing around with all of the static meshes that you have available to you you've got the grasslands folder the firelands folder the icelands folder just populate your scene make it look good it's entirely up to you and don't forget build your lighting at the top so i'm going to go ahead and press that and leave that running but for now that is everything for today's video thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy vertus signing out